Don't worry about what happened when. Pray about insight to where you're going. Lord, what do you want me to do? Lord, how do you want me to do it? Lord, when do you want me to do it? Okay, Lord, how do I do this? How do I do that? He will show you. He'll show you if you just ask. Just ask. Or sometimes I just, my spirit utters the beings, the, the words that, that I want to say to God. Because I can be so hurt. I can be so hurt within my being that I can't express myself. And when I can't express myself, my soul, my spirit talks to God. A lot of times that's a good thing. That, that is a good thing. It's a great thing. So when you're so hurt that you don't even know what you're going to do, how you're going to do it, when you're going to do it, I always fall on my knees. I don't even have to say anything. I can just lay there and cry because God sees my tears. And he comes speedily. Yes, he does. I can cry all night, but trust me, joy comes in the morning. And the next day is always far better than the day I was in. I could cry a certain cry, and he's always there right then. He'll fix it. He will fix it for you. In my experience, the another way to meditate and to come closer to God is to get out into everything that he's created, his trees, his flowers, the grass, um, beside us a lake um, anything that God has made that's beautiful Every, everything God made is beautiful but anything that brings you peace of mind hearing the wind blow sometimes at night you can turn on a, 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 a windy uh, video and, and hearing the wind blow can, can bring you you know different peace of mind and stuff so mine is being close to the water and the trees and hearing the birds and smelling the flowers and since God delivered me, I can see all his beauty everywhere. It mesmerizes me sometimes. Unless you get your kids back out in the open, instead of playing on all those computers and video games, take them out at least an hour every day and show them different things. Show them the birds, show them the bees, show them, let them smell different flowers. You know, when I was little, we smelled flowers and, and we could smell how how good everything, how the flowers smell. You could wake up and smell the honeycomb trees and stuff like that. Certain places now you have to go to certain parks and all that kind of stuff. But take the time to take your children and show them what God has made. And I don't mean on a computer having redone images. I mean, actually, literally, take them out and let them see the, the things that God has made and how beautiful they are. You know, take them to the zoo. I don't, you know, you, a lot, some people still go to the zoos or whatever. Stop making your kids look at the animals on TV. Get up and take them kids to the zoo. I believe our ministry will, will reach from the lowest person in the, in the gutter, that's sleeping under a bridge, all the way to the, the richest person. The person who has it all, the person has nothing at all. I believe the Word of God is going to penetrate every mind, every being. If you, if you don't feel like you, you, can, you can love on anybody or love on yourself, get an animal. There's lots of dogs, cats, or, or whatever. A lot of times, when, when you've been so hurt and, and, and you've had nothing, and you get an animal, they teach you how to love. An animal can teach you that the loyalty that you would want people to have. A dog is very loyal. You can kick a dog, hit a dog, throw a dog outside, when you open that door, in the morning that dog's still gonna be sitting right there looking up at you like this, like, can I come in? And your heart is gonna call out to that dog because you didn't feed him all yesterday, you threw him outside, you're mad because he peed on the floor. So, yeah, if you can't find, if you feel like you're real hard-hearted or, or you just don't have any love for anybody or anything, get a dog or get a cat or get a bird. 
and talk to them and, and, and love on that animal. Once you learn to love on that animal, you'll learn how to love people better too.